Hello there everybody, welcome back to Pokemon Platinum! Now today, now before we officially hand ourselves over to the Pokemon League, um, well now that we've got the, now that we've got the last hinge and move of the game, um, there are a few areas that we can actually explore with our brand new hinge and move waterfall, so, so yeah like, so yeah like, sh oh we're gonna be handing over to those places just so we can see what as to what sort of like a stuff we can get, and our very first location is back at Route 208 again, because the last time we were here we had to do the like oh rock climb one, just so we can actually just so we can actually have that battle and the battle against that hiker, but now with um waterfall. Waterfall now, like now there, now since there is a waterfall here, now we may as well now, now we may as well see what we get. All right, waterfall, go up. All right, yep, and there's an item just sitting way up here. Yeah, I'm gonna feel be missing something, and I'm gonna get a cobos. All right, fine. All right, that's fine, day by me. All right, let's see what we can do. Uh, who has the shortest speed right now? Um, my Luxray is 100, and my Giratina is 111, so... So, if Luxray can't inject the Carbos, then I'm just gonna give it to my uh, Giratina. Okay. Okay, yeah, we'll have it effect, so yeah. Well, Giratina, here you go, buddy. Well, yeah, since you are still pretty brand new to the team, the team, so yeah, of course you would've had to get ourselves ingested with all those, um... Those uh stab boosting drinks. Yeah. Alright now, uh now for our next now for our final stop uh, before we actually hand ourselves over to the like a Pokemon League. Is back is back at the foggy area of Shujuru 10. Because well if you probably see down there, yeah there yeah there uh, is an item down there, but but the only way but the only way that we can actually get it is by going through not just one, but to two waterfalls. So yeah. Oh no wait. Actually, do we have to go there for waterfall? Uh, I don't remember. Yeah, I know there was that waterfall that we just went that we just went by, but I don't know if it was worth it then, I think. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, yep, well, yeah, I'm sure waterfall down here. Okay, yeah, and this time I'm here, and it's gonna give us a, a wave incense. Um, okay. And, okay, I guess I will not be explaining another part of the waterfall then. Uh, okay, I guess, never mind then. Well, I suppose that we should get this part going anyway. Since, uh, since we now have all of our badges, the uh, badges, the uh, badges, right in our pocket. We may as well start we start to hand ourselves over to the Pokemon League as we now go through the next route, route to 223. Now this section now this route isn't as much different as as any other um, water routes go. Yeah, it's basically a straightforward water route where you really don't have to go in in in, in like uh, any other direction other than uh, up or down. And the occasional left and right at some points, I guess. Uh, but uh, but anyways, uh, now we have this girl who actually has Luminion. Well, 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 this is actually the first time that we actually seen you in this game. Huzzah! And it's already gone. <laughs> yeah, by Luminion, you will be missed. But not really. <laughs> but anyways, now now the Pokemon accounts that you, that you can find here. Um, well actually, um, this is actually the very first route of where you can actually counter yourself some Mantikes. So, yeah, apparently they saved a Mantike for here, apparently? I honestly have no clue why they decided to do this. Well, I guess because, well, they wanted, uh, Mantike to be obtained, um, um, later, I guess? I don't know. But uh, all the other Pokemon encounters you can find here are are, are a Tentacruel and Palipers by by just by just surfing, and the fishing is practically around the same as it always is. Yeah, mostly Magikarps and Gyarados, and the and the occasional Remory, Remory, and Remory, and Octillaries. Yeah. But anyways, now and speaking of water types, um, 
Okay, yeah, let's just say for 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 considering that we are on our way to uh, the Pokemon League, um, we would have expected at least at least the next route to be um, you know, more uh more variety in the Pokemon choices, but uh, but apparently for Sinnoh, they decided to to have to have all the trainers here. To almost to 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 like not only have the route to be ba to like basically have another water section, uh, but it's also another route where we mostly find trainers that mostly use water types. So yeah, I don't know why Sino decided to do. Yeah, I don't know why Sino decided to do something like this. I honestly have no clue why they why they decided to do this, but. But anyways, but as you guys just saw recently that we did see like um a Luminion, so I guess that's that. So um so hopefully that we'll be able to find the rest of the water types that we that we need to see here. Well that's well that is what I'm at least I'm hoping for, that is. Anyways now, um anyways now there really isn't all that much for me to say about this route since well what else can I really say? <laughs> anyways, oh and we get oh and we get the team for rain dance. Uh, yeah, well at, least, well, at the very least, we got the TM at least, so I'm happy about that, I guess. Okay, okay, now I'm just gonna go back here. Up oh, and the power off. Well, actually, um, since we haven't exactly found Anton yet, so we may as well try to see, see if we can find it. And our very first encounter just happens to be a touch group. Yeah, that is to be expected. Yeah, at this point, it's actually to be expected that we actually get to see some more powerful, just to see some more powerful po uh, Pokemon, a uh, Pokemon at this point of the game. Because, well, yeah, let's just say, well, uh, seeing Magic Carps and Remorates at this point is a little bit weird. Yeah, but anyways, now we're gonna face off against Oscar. Hmm, very, very generic name, and he's actually a guy in water. Maybe he's the one from Shark Tale. <laughs> oh, I'm sure he doesn't like a s swim with sharks. Even though the Sharpedos aren't, even though the Sharpedos aren't even, aren't even in the regional decks. <laughs> well, I guess Remoraid is sort of close, sort of. I mean, I think everyone, I think some people were expecting um Remoraid to evolve into some sort of a shark thing, but nope, but nope. Um, Remoraid just actually evolves into like a two and like a octopus instead. <laughs> but anyways, now, now, uh, now, like, uh, here we have Falling, Falling out of us, Mantine, huzzah! Well, Mantine, it sure took you a, well, Mantine, it sure took you a really long time for us to see you now. So, so, yeah, like, uh, so, yeah, like, huzzah it And I sent him some confusion. Thanks a lot, Mantine. Oh, and you have Bounce. Ah, great. Well, hopefully Waterfall hits, if it does. Oh, no, 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 no mind. Uh, I get him uh, some confusion. Well, at the very least, my time. Well, at least my, my time is waterfall, so I guess that's okay. Okay, and at the very least, once upon a time, I'm confusion. All right, bye bye, my time. Bye bye. Okay, there we go. Get you some experience, Flutzo. You're a deputy. Master Wake. I mean, Crash Your Wake. Sorry. Hmm. So you're so Crash Your Wake is your inspiration, eh? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I get where you see where you're coming from with that. Yeah. But anyways, now a second encounter is another is another tentacle. Well, main tanks in this route aren't exactly not that much easy to find. Well, main tanks aren't exactly that 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 easy to find uh, to find on this route to begin with. But anyways, we may as well start off start off. Uh, but anyways, now we may as well start off this. Uh, sh 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 we may as well start with this all battle here. Deep breathing up before battle. Breathe in, breathe out. Yeah, you're breathing in and breathing out. It's because you two you two have basically have been swimming all day. Wingle and Mer Why are Wingle and Meryl? Come on! We should be at the point where we should only be seeing more powerful Pokemon, not Wingles and Merrills? Oh, uh, look, I get it. It's a water section, so you have to release the amount of water types, but still, though, why Wingles and Merrills at this point in the game? Come on, man! What are you trying to do to me? Yeah, which actually kind of makes it sad that the fan games that 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 people that are from Nintendo actually create can actually create a lot more powerful Pokemon team, uh, Pokemon Pokemon team members, and also also 
also like uh, the Pokemon that you that you can actually counter in those fan games. It's a lot more challenging than what Nintendo actually creates themselves. Yeah, I yeah, I actually yeah, I actually do feel like that is actually kind of sad. I mean, well, I mean, 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 if Pokemon fan games can actually do a hell of a lot of a better job at the job of actually creating a, of actually creating a more difficult Pokemon game, then then why should they be in charge? Yeah, it's charge of actually making the Pokemon games from now on. Nah, uh, I mean they can, like, I mean they can create um, hey, easy mode, normal mode, and harm modes for, for the fan games, so... Yeah, so why can't, uh, yes, yeah, so why can't, uh, yeah, so why can't, like, uh, yeah, so why can't, like, uh, the, the, uh, the actual Pokemon Nintendo games actually do this? Yeah, yeah, and and it's actually also also sad as well because well, only one Pokemon on the uh, well, only one generation actually decided to do this. Actually decided to do an easy mode, normal mode, and challenge mode uh, mode on their game, <laughs> but it was the only one time, the only one time, like the only one time, a time that they actually did something like that. And the only way then, and the only way that you could actually unlock them is by actually is like oh actually, and the only way that you could like um, unlock those modes is by actually completing the game like on both versions. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't get why Pokemon games don't do, um, you know, more difficult challenges anymore. You look, I get, look, look, I get they want to stick to stick with their pri 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 target audience, the children. Yeah, that's, yeah, and that's why ever since the 3DS came out, um, the, the, the game, uh, the Pokemon main titles have been getting a little bit more easier within, like, Within like every passing gen, and within every passing like hey, generation, because well, well let's just say um when Gen Six came around um, well they decided to make uh, the experience share uh, as a key item, item uh, that uh, th that th that uh, actually allows like a um, Pokemon like um, to get the experience from battle. Uh, and to actually get experience, like, even, even if they weren't even sent in battle. Yeah, and also, um... And also, you can get experience by just catching Pokemon too. Too, so... Yeah, and then within... Yeah, and... And also, the Pokemon teams themselves in that game... One example didn't exactly achieve this us to be a lot more challenging on that much as you actually progress with the game. So yeah. And the same can also be applied to Generation 7. Because well yeah, Generation 7 definitely had a much more although I will say with the trials. Um well I will say the totem Pokemon, they did someone give me a more tough challenge than I than I thought. And especially when you had to put like like a two Pokemon against one, yeah. But I but I'll just say for the rest of the adventure it was still pretty damn easy. And then we had Generation Eight, when um not only did they create this thing called like Experience Candy, which was actually first introduced in the like Let's Go games because well. Well, the only way that you, well, because the only way that you can really get experience in that game was to really catch Pokemon. But however, with Sword and Shield, however, they actually created the experience candies just so that just so that uh, not only did they like uh, that, not only did they have to deal with any more like all of that grinding bull, bull crap, but however. However, though, they they made it even more easier with the experience share uh, by, uh, by not actually being like a, a, a key item anymore. Uh, well, like, it's just like, when they did it that game, 
it was it is that you couldn't turn it off whatsoever. So the only way that you could get a much more difficult challenge was to oh I don't know, um uh, make making sure that uh, only one Pokemon could 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 get get experience like a at a time or um. Or, or they just, or they just play the game as a Nuzlocke, and and since I and since I and since I don't and and since I don't necessarily do Nuzlocke's myself, yeah, let's just say with Sword and Shield, um, I I actually beat Leon, I actually defeated Leon's team, like when he was a champion. I got a both sword and shield. I went most of my party members for both versions were only levels 59 or 60. Yeah, let's just say even the Leon did even though the Leon actually actually did give me a run for my money, but I never actually lost to him. I've never lost to Leon. So, so can you really call that a difficulty spike up then? Although you can't say that because well, after you do, after you defeat, uh, after you beat uh, Eternatus, um, yeah, the levels of the Pokemon that you find up basically just, just, just get dr drastically, uh, drastically one who went up from like, like level sixty to sixty five. <laughs> Although I will say it's a much given pleasure than what. Black and white gave us because well after you be gets this the Pokemon levels just went up from level 52 to sit into their level 60s <laughs> so it's like whoa what the hell are you guys doing we just beat a god that was level 52 and now you're giving us Pokemon that and now face off against Pokemon that are that are like that are already that already that uh, that already in the level 60s. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going off and off rant here. Yeah, I'm getting way off topic here. Sorry. Yeah, I just really yeah, I just really had to get off my chest because, well, yeah, I will yeah, I will definitely admit that the games ever since yeah the yeah the mainline Pokemon games. Ever since the 3DS, half began a lot more easier. Half began a lot more easier within like getting each generation. Although, uh, although I will say this much. Although, what I will say for Sword and Shield is that, well, uh, if they actually kept uh, the wild area, now uh, until app, I got to like a, if they kept the wild area, not an available thing like. A, and you can only access it until after you beat Leon. <laughs> then getting the experience candy will actually be more of a worthwhile thing. Because with the experience candy that you can instantly get like, as soon as you as soon as you enter the wild area for the first time, and and this is actually before you actually even enter the first gym of the game. Yeah, and you can easily grind up your team up to like so many goddamn levels, and you can leave that wild area whenever you want. So you could just like, so you could just like instantly get your team up to level 100 if you want, before you even beat the fur, before you before you did you even enter the first gym. So yeah, I yeah I just wanted to say that if they kept either the experience candy off, or or keep the wild area off limits like until like after you beat Leon, then 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 uh those types of rewards would have been more satisfying to me. Yeah, they honestly really would have. Yeah, they honestly really, yeah, they honestly really would have been more uh, satisfying to get. But anyways, now as you can see here, we are now getting more closer to our to our to our to our goal now. Yeah, especially after dealing with so many trainers with with their own well, one at times. 
a type zero in there, so yeah. But anyway, now, yep, our gold duck is a goodbye. Oh, and my starter's not leveled up. The tide is going out! Why, yes, it is definitely going out. Okay, now we got the Zyda, which is a dive ball, eh? Alright, I will definitely accept that dive ball. Although, I think the only time I'm actually going to use it is by only by, is by, is by having me use it on a sh 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 wire type. <laughs> but anyway, okay, now, now we're done with that. Now, let's get my strap to heal up before we actually face up against this next swimmer. Okay. Okay, we're good. Alright. Oh, oh, uh, I thought you were, oh, I thought you were going to do that almost. Never mind. I was kind of the champion of a swimsuit contest? Oh, swimsuit contest, huh? Well, I'm sure we have a different outfit. No, you don't, Cassandra. You just have the same outfit as every as every other swimmer does. So, how in the world could you? Uh, so, how the so how in the world could you have won a swimsuit contest? If you if you wanted to win a swimsuit contest, then you should have at least won a then you should have at least worn a different swimsuit. I mean, come on. <laughs> If you if you say that you've won a swimsuit contest, so so naturally like so naturally you would have gotten yourself a much more sexier outfit, right? Yeah, exactly. My point. <laughs> anyway, now since we're gonna face up against another power brew, and since we go to does have ancient power, so I may as well use him. Ah, uh, yeah, power brews. You always say that. All right, ninja power time, Garitina. Let's go. And Palipper is... Oh, not gone yet. How about that? Oh, and this one is also going to go for Stockpile too. Huh. Okay, that is perfectly fine by me. It's because you are just going to do... You're just going to go down right here. And yep, bye-bye, good sir, Palipper. Or should I say good female? Because, yeah, that Palipper feels female. Alright, Sandra, uh, Cassandra, you're dead. I've never won love when it's my swimsuit. Y yeah, you never lost. In the same old swimsuit that every other swimsuit girl is wearing. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, now who need? Okay, now since I just got the um another candy, um who I who I get this to? Um, my my Garantina needs more experience, has more experience than my float so I may as well give it to him. There you go, now Garantina. Now you're level 52. Yay. Yeah, my, yeah, my, my, yeah, um, my Giratina is getting there, is actually getting there in levels really a lot more quicker than I thought. Well, it's also because, well, well, it's also, well, that's probably also because, like, uh, all throughout my journey, I've really only used, like, a, only for a Pokemon, up until my Giratina was added onto the team. <laughs> Yeah, it's because, well, I don't know why, because I do feel like uh, they're off a point that could be useful too, but I just feel like using the four that I currently have were actually pretty, they're actually pretty darn useful to me anyway. And why the hell do you have a tentacle? Like, what the, why did, why did we just see a tentacle? Why? Like, come on, why a tentacle now? Ugh, the same thing with the wingles and the mirrors. Why are we seeing them now, all things? Uh, my crunch isn't gonna get any water on this gold time, but, but I have to kill it at some point because my water times aren't exactly gonna do all that much of the gold tank anyway. Uh huh, there you go, now I got to lower your defense too. Oh crap, here he swipes. Uh, with Squeeze, that's gonna do a lot. Oh, that was a crit. Shit. Uh, gold duck. Oh, okay, good. At least you only hit three times. Okay, fine. Now you get your stupid ass out of here, Goldock. Boom. Alright. Now you are done, Francesco. Uh, wait, your name is Francesco? Wait, your name is friend for friends of Francesco? Really? I guess you're not the name of your very own country, I think, right? <laughs> or Francisco. <laughs> your name is Francisco, and you're actually for run there. Uh, yeah, you know you can serve, but you just, but you, but, 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 you would just revive us right away anyway. Alright, Troy, you have a Gyarados. Actually, we haven't seen a Gyarados on this route yet, so actually, I'm actually yeah, fine with this. Other than those fishermen who just happen to have magic hearts. 
on Route 2 2 that, like, mostly all fishermen have magic arcs. Like, jeez. Come on, like, we were almost there to the 8th gym. So why bother with the magic arcs? Ugh. Okay. Yeah, now you're. The schedule is almost there. Oh, okay. God. Oh, that's actually a soccer tail. Oof. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Uh, I think, yeah, I should probably heal my foot so now because. Yeah, I mean, yeah, my Flood still, still needs the experience anyway. Okay, there you go, Flood Cell. Here's your Hyper Potion because you definitely need it. Alright, there you go. Let me get Sancho Pump. Oh, Dragon Dance! Oh, shit! Oh, why the hell do you have Dragon Dance? God damn it! Why the hell do you have Dragon Dance, man? Okay, yeah, thankfully my Flood Cell is still faster, but. Okay, well, at the very least, I gotta use Defense lower again. Oh, are you really trying to be faster than me? Ugh. Well, thankfully, my float still, still is kept. Oh, why did I not go for Aqua Jet? And why did you bother with going for Dragon Dance three times in a row? Uh, that's something I don't, I don't get. Why I didn't use Aqua Jet? And why did this guy use Dragon Dance again? But I guess I'll take the win. Kaploosh! Yeah, that is all you could say, Kaploosh. Alright, and with that everyone, we have made it to the entrance to the Pokemon League. But not entirely yet, because just like, yeah, but because we're just like all usual Pokemon mainline titles, we first of course have to deal with the Victory Road first. Yeah, and let's just say that this Victory Road can actually be a long one, so, so expect to see a multi-parter of Victory Road, yeah. But anyways, now, I just don't have one, and I just don't have one, and if you have a super rod with you, um, this is the only location of where you can actually catch yourself some love disc, and, and getting these love discs are actually a really important, because that you actually, because, well, if you're low on heart scales, then getting these love discs are definitely important. So, so for the next part, we shall be entering the victory road! So, so then, see you guys next time!